Hello and welcome to the Daily Dev channel. Today I wanted to go over the Django ORM, the make migrations versus migrate commands. I've seen a lot of people confused about these two commands and what each one is doing. Um, so I just decided to make this tutorial. So let's dive right in. Now in, in the models, if I create a new model, my cars model dot model and I will just give it one field which is um, car name equal models this is the char field the max length is gonna be a hundred and that's it that's all what I wanted to do or say I want to make the DB table name equal db table will be equal my cars table okay now the first thing I want to do to get um, this table into the database there are two stages the first one is to make the migrations and the second one is to migrate it into the db meaning the first command it will create an intermediate file uh, which is still a python file that will sit between the model and the database it's an intermediate file that once you run the migrate django will go look for the file that make migrations have created and apply it to the database let's see that in action so i've created the model i want to get it to the db the first thing is going to be docker compose exec django python manage.py make migrations remember if you're not using docker you could start the command from python manage.py make migrations no changes have been detected because this app is not in the um in the main application so i should have added this here uh, test app now it will be recognized Okay, so Django have created a uh, migration file and gave it this name. So if we go under migrations, we see a new file was created and it has few lines of code that describes the table and its columns and the specification for each column, including the table name. So this is the intermediate file that once I run the migrate command, it will be applied to the DB. So now if I go to the database, I could see the table. My cars table. Well, let's try now to alter the table and run migrate directly without make migrations. Car color equal models dot char field max length. Well, 50. I'm just throwing any numbers. Now, if I run migrate, Django will tell me there are changes that has doesn't have any migrations file. So if you look here, models have changes that are not yet reflected in, in the migrations, meaning Django scans the migrations files and compare it to the models and make sure that your model has the appropriate make uh, the migrations files. To solve this, I will have to run make migrations and a new migration file will show up here. Well, there's a question here about whether I need to provide a default value. I will say yes, and it's gonna be just an empty string. Uh, it did um, ask for a valid Python value. So that's what's happened there, if you wonder. Now there's another migration file show up. It explains that the, there is another field was added to the, um, to the model. If I want to apply this, well, let's see if, if it's in the DB or not yet. So I will refresh the items. See, I don't see the column there. Once I run the migration, or migrate the second migration file was applied now if I refresh this table I should see the second column 
and there you go. So that's the main difference between the two commands. I hope you have uh, learned something today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.